So when we looked at the building in 2014, 2013 take-up figures were being announced and it showed a record year of 800,000 square feet. Coupled with this, we'd got the development tap being turned off in 2010, so we thought it was a perfect time to buy the asset to capitalise on this kind of supply and demand imbalance and here we are proving that we got the timing just about right. Up until very recently, large institutional investors have tended to concentrate on London and the South East. That in itself has given us opportunities to invest in cities like Leeds and buildings such as 6EP. It was quite an exciting prospect, this building, because when we first looked at it, it was very down at heel. It was a very drab external facade, a really dark and depressing interior, very dated and horrible toilets, and we just knew at that moment we'd fallen in love with it. <laughs> the facade was particularly important for us. We didn't want to create another drab refurbishment. We wanted to create a statement building that occupiers would be proud of. Up until fairly recently, the facade was under polythene wraps. As gradually the scaffolding and the wraps have come down, the response from the public has been fantastic. This is actually our third uh, joint venture with Paul Jones at Evenacre. And the reason why we were particularly keen to continue the relationship was the fantastic job that Paul did on one of our other buildings in Edmund Street in Birmingham. Bridge has always challenges to do things better than we have done before, both from a design and detail perspective, but also importantly from a sustainability perspective as well. We utilise air source heat pumps for our air conditioning system, which offers heating and cooling, and is the most energy efficient on the market. There is a, a 10 kilowatt rooftop photovoltaic array that feeds electricity generated from the sun back into our electricity distribution board. We also utilise LED lighting throughout the building, which is 80% more efficient than traditional lighting. The energy performance certificate was a key driver when we acquired it. We, it had a, a D EPC rating, and we've moved that onto a B. Coupled with this, we've made a 45% improvement in the CO2 emissions from this particular building. As you can see, the building isn't even finished yet, so we're particularly pleased to have let two floors, effectively a third of the building. That hasn't happened for a refurbished building in the centre of Leeds for over five years. And what we've learned is that if we can show and demonstrate to occupiers that we can save on their energy costs, the more amenable they are to paying a higher rent. And in fact, the rent we've achieved on the pre-let in this building of £25 a foot is the highest rent for a refurbished building in the centre of Leeds. It is a personal thing, and if you don't take, take things personally, then you won't deliver on the key messages that you're trying to achieve. By the time we have finished the refurbishment, we've let every floor, we calculate there'll be approximately 450 people working here. So that's a great legacy to leave in a city like Leeds.